Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about PS2 emulation and Nintendo Switch emulation. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about PlayStation 2 emulation on a bunch of different systems, Android, iOS, Mac, Windows, and Linux with Play. Play just released a brand new version, version 0.52. At the time of filming, version 0.52 isn't yet available on the Google Play Store, but I'm assuming it's going to make its way there pretty darn quickly. If we take a look at the changes here, it says many compatibility improvements. A bunch of games have improved their status. There are now over 500 playable games, which equates to about 25% of the PS2 library. On top of that, they've fixed dual layer DVD issues in Champions of Norath, fixed memory card issues in Fallout Brotherhood of Steel, fixed hang that could occur while playing FPS sections of Combat Elite. And this one is a big point here, I would say, for Android and iOS users. Added CD ROM CHD support, which is great for compression. There are two main benefits with Play. First and foremost, it's compatible with a bunch of different systems. And secondly, here, it doesn't require a BIOS in order to function. It's built right into the emulator, you don't need to supply your own. And on top of all of that, Play is making some huge strides forward here in terms of compatibility. We already went over the 25% playable. Well, 53%, almost 54% of PS2 games are able to get in-game. And once they're in-game, it's really only a matter of time before they're shifted over to playable. And speaking about compatibility, next up here we're talking about PCSX2. PCSX2 is an amazing PS2 emulator on Windows, Mac, and Linux. And they just released their Q4 of 2021 report. It's a little bit late, but it details a bunch of changes that they've made. Now, if you normally watch my channel, we've gone over most of these updates in previous videos, but if you wanna see everything in one neat and tidy place, I will leave a link to this blog in the description below. I highly recommend checking it out. We're just gonna go over it here at a really high level and there is a ton of information in here. The very first thing in the progress report here is a sneak peek at the future GUI. It's not in the stable version just yet, but the next stable version that releases, whenever it releases, will look a little bit different. This is a teaser as to what the new GUI is gonna look like and I'm liking it. They've added in disk swapping for those games that require it or support it. There's also a bunch of optimizations and graphic fixes here. For example, burnout. This is before and well, this is after. Stuff like transparency was fixed in games like Gran Turismo 4. We have before here where the ghost car, well, it looks like a normal car and after where it actually looks like a ghost car. Even Grand Theft Auto San Andreas has been improved. Here is before and there is after. Overall here, since version 1.6 of PCSX2, things have improved pretty much across the entire board. Games are running faster, they're looking better, they're playing smoother, we have new features, and if we take a look at the compatibility list, things are even better. No games are unplayable in PCSX2, every single game boots to some extent. We have 1.15% of PS2 games as perfect, a whopping 97.92 games listed as playable. And then a very small amount of in-game, an even smaller amount of just in menus. For intro and nothing, they're sitting at zero. That is an incredible feat in itself. Now, for those that are curious about the brand new GUI for PCSX2, I will leave a link to this forum post in the description below. Feel free to check it out. It'll give you a really good idea as to what the new version of PCSX2 will look like when development is complete. And I'm telling you, this looks incredibly good. It's very easy, very seamless, and a lot more user-friendly. Now, on top of all of that, if you're really curious about these changes and maybe you want to test them out on your own before the next stable release, you absolutely can. Head on over to the official PCSX2 website, click on the download button, skip past where it says stable releases. The last one that was updated here was back in 2020. There have been a ton of changes since then. And this is version 1.6. It won't crash on you though, or it shouldn't. But go down to the nightly builds here and pick up the latest version. Uh, these are experimental. Some things might be broken, some things might not work as anticipated but they've got a bunch of new features packed into them. Moving on now, and last up, we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on Android with Skyline, because why wouldn't we? 
the developers have yet again made some pretty major breakthrough. Final Fantasy IX is playable at 60 frames a second. One Piece Unlimited World Red is playable. Super Monkey Ball is booting. This is a huge one. Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu are playable and at a pretty darn good speed. We talked about this one the other day, but Undernight Inbirth is looking a lot better. Resident Evil 5 gets in game. And lastly, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition almost gets in in game you can get through the menu systems but then it crashes but anyways that is all i've got for you in this one straight to the point haul stuff and no fluff let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below play pcsx tour skyline if you like this video leave a like if you didn't like this video leave a like hit that subscribe button check out my other videos don't tempt fate save your state